right? Because that is a heavy point, right? Go back to that um the last scripture he read, right? With mercy and not of read. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the Lord said he got a controversy with us, right? The inhabitants of the land. We inhabit this land, so the Lord said I got a problem with them. Right, read. With the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth. Ain't no truth in the land, right? Because a lot of us don't know the truth, right? What's the truth? What's the truth that they teach us today? What's the truth that they teach us? Huh? What they teach us in the school systems? Uh, 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 that's church, whatever. What do church teach us that they say that's the truth? You know a little bit. I know you know, right? That's, that's your son, right? Right? No, he know. What they teach us in, in school systems? Say it again. They basically teach us to trust in this system, right? Right? Yeah. Follow their ways, right? Read it again. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the words of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. So God said there ain't no real knowledge in the land of me, right? That's why you got a church on every corner in our neighborhoods, right? But it's still, uh, uh, we still live in the, the uh, high crime for uh, impoverished areas, right? Why is that? Right, because it ain't no knowledge of God in the land. So give me the knowledge, right? This is what the church is not teaching our people. The knowledge of God or knowing. This is how you truly know God. Because a lot of people say, I know him, right? I got a personal relationship with God. But a lot of our people don't know this. Read. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips, right, should keep knowledge. They should be teaching the knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So they should come and seek the law at the priest's mouth. So the churches ain't teaching the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Right. Just like he went over the Sabbath day, right? It's a sin to break the law on Sabbath day. They ain't teaching it in church, That's right? It's a sin to keep Christmas. They ain't going to teach that in church, right? Those things are sin according to the Bible, but they ain't teaching it up in church. That's, That's right. why our neighborhoods are impoverished. That's why we're at the bottom of society today. That's why we, 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 uh, we got the high murder rates in our neighborhoods. All these things is infesting in our neighborhood because why? They are not being taught in our neighborhoods. Read it again. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. So the priest should be teaching laws. The priest should be teaching that should not kill, right? The priest, the priest should be teaching don't be keeping Christmas. Those things are, when we keep Christmas, those things are idolatry. When we keep Thanksgiving, those things are idolatry. A lot of our people gearing up to keep New Year's and all that. New Year's ain't in the middle of the winter time, right? Those things are idolatry, right? The Bible speaks against all of those things. But you know, you got the black pastor, they're going to take the black highlight and do what? They're going to highlight them things out. We ain't going to teach this right here, right? They use the Bible as a buffet line. And they pick and choose what they want to use up out of the Bible. And that's what they try to teach, right? Say the laws are done away with, but they still keep the law tithing, right? Do you know, well, who was the ties for? Yeah. I know you know a little bit. No. Who was the ties for? Don't tell. Huh? Don't tell. Because when they tied, right, the churches love to push, pay your tithes, like, uh, or give a tenth right there to God, right? That's the laws that they want to keep. But tithe was what? Tithe was for the Levites, right? These, these people that you see right here on the side. The Levitical priesthood. They did the service unto God. These, these Levites was in everybody's land doing the service of God. So the, everybody in those lands had to give a tent unto the Levites to take care of their brothers. Right? That's what tithing means. Give me tithing. Give me Deuteronomy. Yeah. All right, sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 22. Real quick. I know y'all trying to go. It's getting cold. Come on, read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 22. Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed. So he's telling them, right? He's going to go into uh, tithing. He said, Thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed, right? Churches like to tell you, sow a seed and all these things, and it's going to grow back, whatever they be saying, tenfold. But let's see what it's talking about. Read. That the field bringeth forth year by year. Let the field do what? That the field bringeth forth year by year. We told them to tithe the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. So tithing is what? Going into what? Food, crops, and things like that. Read. And thou shalt eat before the Lord thy God. He said what? And thou shalt eat. He said thou shalt eat it before the Lord thy God. Because we don't eat money, right? 
So he, he going into the crotch, because remember, we had to take care of the Leviticus priesthood. Everybody had to give a tithe to them to take care of their brothers. All right? Read. In the place which he shall choose to place his name there. The tithe of thy corn. The tithe of what? Of thy corn. Pastor say the tithe of your money, right? But listen what the Bible says. Read it again. The tithe of thy corn. They supposed to tithe, give a tenth of their corn. Read. Of thy wine. Of the wine. Read. And of thine oil. Uh -huh. And the first leaves of thy herds and of thy flock. Read. That thou mayest learn to fear the Lord thy God always. So they're supposed to give a tithe of their corn and things like that, the crops, the wines, the oils, and things like that. That was tithing, right? Because we were supposed to give it unto the Levite. Read. And if the way be too long for thee. So if the way be too long for them, right? Because remember, up above it said, eat in the place, the, the place that he, he commanded us to go and eat at, right? Read it again. And if the way be too long for thee. So if it be too long for you to travel, right? Because in those days, right? We, let's just read it again. Read. And if the way be too long for thee, so that thou art not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from thee, which the Lord thy God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord thy God has blessed thee, then shalt thou turn into money. Then thou shalt turn it into money, right? Because you got to remember in those times, a lot of them had a lot of what? Cattle and things like that, right? So if you got a hundred cattle, you got to give a tenth of that. There's ten cattle. If you got a hundred sheep, you got to give a tenth of that. There's ten sheep. So on and so on, right? So that way it's too far for them to carry all that stuff, right? Because remember, we ain't have cars and stuff then. It was walking then. So it was too far for them. So God told them to do what with it? Then shall thou turn it into money. So God said turn it into money, meaning sell it, right? Read. And bind up the money in thine hand. And shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose. So they're supposed to take this money, right, into the place that the Lord thy God chose for them to meet it, right? Read. Verse 26. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatsoever thy soul lusteth after. For oxen or for sheep. Do what? For oxen or for sheep. So they're supposed to take that money and give it to the, and go out and buy more oxen, buy more sheep to do what? Or for wine or for strong drink. Or for whatsoever thy soul deserves, and thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy God, and thou shalt rejoice in thy household. So Right? We're supposed to give a tenth of the increase unto the Levites. To the Levitical priesthood. We ain't supposed to be giving our money to these churches. Right? You ain't supposed to be giving money to your pastor. Give me Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. Let me get the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. This is what our people need to understand. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. See if this day set thee over the nations, over the kingdoms, to root out and to pull down. To root out and to pull down, right? To pull down all these strongholds that have got amongst our people. To pull down Christmas, because Christmas is a lie. Yes, to pull down Thanksgiving and all that, that's a lie. To pull down hey, them fake Jews and calling themselves Jews over there, that's a lie. Read. And to destroy and to throw down, to build, and to plant. And to destroy them things, right? And to throw down and to build it again and to plant. To bring our brothers back up into the truth. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.